Now, lonely adventurer, it is for you that the bell tolls. That is really quite piercing. <laughs> Adventurers, and welcome to another exciting edition of Performance Check. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to be talking about a recent discovery I made an analytical approach to your DM and GM style. So, very recently, I embarked on a new quest, for I have never run a game online until about a week ago. I began a campaign entitled The Law Keepers with some absolutely phenomenal players. I recommend you check that out on my channel. Check it out wherever it is. It's on my channel, that's where it is. <laughs> it was an interesting experience for me. Like I say, I'd never done it before. But that also meant that I had never seen myself run a game before. I've never videoed myself running a game and never recorded myself running a game. So I was noticing things that I was doing that I didn't even realize that I did. One of the things that really stuck out for me was a method I was using and like I say, didn't realize I did this. <laughs> but there was an example I gave when my villain Equinox with his yellow glowing eye scanned the battlefield before him and I described it like being hit in the retina with a laser pointer or a laser pen. Now, if you've ever had that happen to you, you know exactly what I mean, that there is that flare in your retina. I explained it like that, and I was watching the game, heard myself say that, and said to myself, because I'm totally not crazy. Totally not crazy. Rob, what the hell? I've stumbled on something that's quite interesting. Does it break immersion? to explain to players a particular sensation that they've had in their real lives or does it make it more immersive because it's something you've experienced and you're bringing that experience to the tabletop? A valid question, I feel. This is a little thing that I've decided to name Reality Crash. Now, for the record, I think I'm going to keep doing that. I think the idea of immersing yourself comes more into making yourself feel a particular way and giving yourself a particular mood when you're playing the game. Because you're obviously aware of the real world around you, but I can imagine that there would be some folk out there who, at the mention of a laser pen, would be taken out for a second. And I wanted to get your thoughts. Now, uh, I have just passed my 200 subscribers milestone, I guess is what you would call it. Thank you all of you who have subscribed so far to my channel. It really means a lot uh, and I'm really enjoying doing performance check and I hope that you're still liking the content that I'm putting out there. So, um, as a mini celebration for my over 200 subscribers limit, milestone, whatever, I would like you to tell me, is it immersion breaking to compare feelings and experiences of real life uh, and bringing them to the gaming table? Or is it more immersive because you are um, drawing on an experience you've already felt in real life? Please let me know in the comments below. If you have liked this video, maybe give it a like. If you want to see more like this, then give me a subscribe or not. We're all friends here. Or are we? Thanks again for watching and I hope that all of your performances are up to standard. Not done this in a while, I'm rusty.